So order of operations, you start with parentheses, exponents, take care of exponents, then you multiply and divide in the order they appear from left to right, add and subtract in the order they appear from left to right. Oops. So um, people use um, a phrase commonly to remember this, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I'm sure the internet has many other expressions. This is the oldest one, I believe. So, it's called PEMDAS, and that will give you the order in which you have to carry out operations in um, mathematics. So a few, in few cases, when we have some other stuff, um, things get a bit tricky, but this is the rule of thumb. So the next time you see something weird and Facebook and everybody's fighting over it, then use this rule. My principle is any time you have a negative number, put it within parentheses. Any time you have an exponent, put it within parentheses. That is just how I go about or uh, recommend. So I'll write it as recommendations. Um, this might be helpful for some of you in the future. So enclose negative numbers. By parentheses. Enclose exponents. with but sounds better to me what i mean to say is instead of simply writing it as negative five the better way is to write it as negative five within parentheses instead of writing it as five squared the better way would be to write it as five squared now that is no rule um i'm just um letting you guys were giving it as a recommendation because when I learned long, long time ago, this is what I did and it helped me from preventing, um, helped me from making mistakes. Just to refresh your memory, some principles or concepts. Negative seven is actually less than negative two. Um, even though in magnitude they are bigger, think of the real number line. So negative two is right here. Negative seven is right there. We go from left to right. So left to right. Negative two is definitely bigger than negative seven. Um, so on the real number line, if you keep on going um, to the right, numbers get bigger. 
uh, to the left, numbers get smaller. Sometimes this concept is easier to understand if you just flip the axis and look at it this way. Think of it as height. Oh. Or think of them as height. I guess I can't rotate it. Um, let's see. So if you look at it this way, you will see, a, you know, negative two is taller than negative seven. So as you go up, you get more and more positive and you get taller and taller. As you go down, you get more and more negative, it gets smaller and smaller, shorter and shorter. So another way of looking at it, if you have uh, difficulties looking at it horizontally, you can flip this and understand it vertically. Another concept that you've got to keep in mind is the concept of absolute value. If we take the absolute value, which is um, we are putting a number within those enclosed bars. That would simply mean you get rid of the sign and simply you put the number that is inside the bars. So an absolute value of a positive number is the number itself. But if I have absolute value of a negative number, you get a number without the negative sign, which is simply the positive number. Now, the absolute value is what we call the magnitude Magnitude is simply like uh, the strength. So we all own televisions and let's say you're watching a show and you're increasing the volume. So the volume is increasing in magnitude. The numbers get bigger and bigger. Now, if you reduce the volume, you are decreasing in magnitude. Um, in other words, the number gets smaller and smaller. So you can see the number going up and the number going down as you increase the volume or decrease the volume respectively, but the direction in which they move is different. When it's increasing, it's going from left to right. When it's decreasing, it's 
going from right to left. So the sign of a number simply indicates direction. Now, intuitively, when we reduce the volume, we can look at the number and say, oh, the volume is decreasing from 22 to 20 to, you know, 18, 16, and so forth. But you know it's moving in the opposite direction. In maths, we denote that direction by a negative value. If going from right to left, negative, left to right, positive. But in practice, I can't put a negative sign in the television. People are not going to understand. So we only look at the absolute value part, which is the strength. So anytime you see the volume level, it's always the absolute value or the magnitude of your sound. The direction is suppressed. We intuitively understand the sign. But in math, we have to represent it with the sign. So distance is simply the distance between two points. You have one unit there, one unit, four units. It could be anything. It could be just a step, or it could be a meter, or it could be centimeters, whatever. But that is simply the distance. We represent uh, distances to be the length between two numbers. Now, here is the catch. Well, what about you go to the left from the right? Well, you may, is the distance negative one unit? No, it absolutely is not. It still is one unit. In other words, we take the absolute value of that negative one. So what does that negative indicate? The negative simply indicates the reverse direction. So in a similar manner, If you take four steps to the left, you are still going four units. Um, you're not going negative four. Keep in mind the negative sign simply indicates um, the direction. So the four units that you see is simply the absolute value of negative four. And oftentimes, the absolute value of that negative is what we call the Manhattan distance. Interestingly, one might wonder as to why they call it Manhattan distance. Uh, if you'd been to Manhattan, um, people would typically um, talk in terms of blocks. You go one block, two blocks, three blocks up, one block, two block on the other side. So they're just talking about you know, one unit, two unit, three unit. And for them, the units are just um, blocks. Um, in math, there are other ways of uh, computing distance, um, but we're not going to go over it. But the other different uh, distance is what we call the Euclidean distance. That's what we use commonly. But absolute value distance is simply the Manhattan distance.